My Family's Project. It started uh, for just, for me in 1991, a weekend drive um, with my parents. The Serenby that we all know today, the place that everyone lives in and that people visit, was really born out of a desire of how do you protect green space. I've known about Serenby since its inception. I have a friend who used to be neighbors with Steve Nygren, and about 10, maybe 15 years ago, she called me up and said, girl, you want to drive out to the country? And I said, sure. So we drove out, and there's this little idyllic village. The architecture, the mix of nature, and a walkable community for people where they could work play and just and live among one another. Serenby was built with arts in mind and the idea to build out the art farm and have that as part of Serenby as well as the concept of the Serenby Institute were really both part of Steve and Marie Nygren's, you know, the founder's original vision to incorporate arts into everyday life in the community. So the art farm has been in the plan for Serenby since the beginning of Serenby and it is one of the latest things to really bloom and to grow legs at Saren B. Two years ago, Garney and I sat down and said, you know, well, what can we do at the art farm to sort of create engagement? So it has the opportunity to be a little bit more organic, a little bit less planned, it's sort of a little bit of a playground for the art. And so we said, how can we create really interesting experiences at the art farm and invite people to come and enjoy those experiences, but really showcasing the arts. So Saren B is a thousand acres, and so we're sort of an adjacency to it. And Steve Nyron really envisioned um, when you walked across the street from this very organized space, beautiful, you would continue walking across the street, but you would kind of go through a portal into a new space that was really more about the artists, and they can kind of help mold and shape it. I would say I think one of the things that make art events at Serenby really dynamic is they're intimate. Food is sort of part of the DNA of Serenby. We thought, what if we did art over dinners and create a beautiful dinner at one long table with 40 to 50 people and we had art as the centerpiece and the opportunity to have dialogue around that art and that could be a specific artist, it could be um, an institution, it could be um, a concept, it could be a poem, it could be doing something. I learned about the art farm because I was one of the featured artists last year. Monica and Garney contacted me and said that they wanted to put on a dinner for me and my film. So every month I would email them and say, are you sure there's nothing I need to do? Like, are, is everything really, is this actually happening? Is this really possible? Are you really doing everything for me? And I just didn't believe it. And then I got here and it was so true and it completely blew my mind. We were surprised that we didn't have to source the chefs, build the table, and make the scenery beautiful. It felt so supportive. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we showed up to talk about what we do. It's an interesting mix of people, and one thing that was encouraged, I guess, was to make it more experiential rather than just like a straight talk. There was a, I guess, sort of different stages of, of the evening where, you know, we kind of had cocktails before, and there's an opportunity for informal conversation, and then you get a, a more intimate conversation with the people that you're uh, sitting with at dinner, and then it, it kind of opens back up into a little bit more formalized conversation with the entire group. And I think the conversation, the debate, was actually the most interesting component of the evening. And if you're shy, they have something where they'll actually ask a few questions, and they ask you to discuss it in small groups, and then you get to discuss it in a bigger group. I feel like it's a really good icebreaker for artists. You definitely walk away learning something cool about the art community, but also learning more about Serenby and having a, a greater appreciation of what's going on there. The other thing I think that makes Serenby really dynamic for experiencing arts is where park and walk, um, that you can park your car, park once, and get out and you have the ability to go to dinner and from dinner walk to a show, walk to an event at the art farm. And so it's a complete, it's a complete experience. Serenby's just a lovely place, uh, really incredible kind of natural setting. Um, very elegantly designed and exquisitely built within uh, this incredible landscape that we live with within here in Georgia that we oftentimes take for granted. I would say Serenby is a really great place for people to come and to be able to get outside of sort of their day to day and really immerse themselves in an artistic experience, whether that is participating in an art over dinner and hearing from arts organizations from around the city, whether that is going and seeing a performance at the Playhouse. It's a really nice way for people to get to know the artists in an environment that is 
comfortable. I think the art farm provides an opportunity, a, a kind of rare opportunity, at least for me these days, to slow down and to have a, a kind of uh, repose and uh, be able to reflect upon both one's own work, one's own life, but also the, the sort of larger context of uh, contemporary culture that we live in. You know, we, we live in, in, a, in a time where things move so quickly. Sanby, everything slows down. The Art Farm is a place that's trying to bring arts and culture to a community that is underserved in the arts. There are a lot of like really driven and creative individuals who are doing work that's unprecedented and it's really easy to get involved. Just by coming to one of our events, you're supporting the arts. People can get a little intimidated by the arts um, and so something like Art Over Dinner meets people where they're already at, which is like everybody wants to have a good meal and a cocktail with like people that they care about and want to talk with. Um, adding in that artistic component really helps to like create this access. Serenby is a safe, like fertile ground for artists to really spread their wings and develop their craft. One thing is people think it's a long drive down to Serenby, uh, but I, you know, it's worth it. It's 45 minutes and it's a different world down there and I think the opportunity to kind of get away from the city and uh, you know, definitely come down for more than just the uh, art of a dinner or an event, come down and spend the afternoon or the better part of the day down there before you head back. A lot of people will say why the art farm or what is the art farm going to be and so the 40 acres of art farm really was, was born out of um, creating a place, creating a container where artists can have housing, where they can have studios and I think even more importantly with, with the way that we have it set it up now can always be part of a nonprofit. A dream has come true and it's Steve Nygren's vision for the arts community for growing and expanding the arts community in Atlanta. So you're seeing this come full circle, this vision coming together now, where everybody's working together to really rise up and support the arts together. And that includes all of the units here at Serenby, all of the arts programming at Serenby, as well as everything that's happening with the art farm. The future really is um, open. We know we have the land. We know generally what we want to sort of do with it but it will grow and morph as people come into the art farm. We want you to come and be a part of the art farm. Join us for a dinner, join us for a cocktail, come to a play, come to music over here, come see the cottages when they're open, support the residency program, because you're who we're doing it for, and you, you are who is gonna to continue to support it, and your ideas and what you want out of it is just as much about what the mission is as what we want out of it. So we look to you guys, we invite you to come and play with us.